is up guys? Welcome back to MJ Views. We're here with the new video, Before You Own a French Bulldog. We did one on Before You Own an Australian Shepherd. We'll put it in the link in the description. They're very cool dogs to have. Yes. But there could be some things that you need to look out for before you get it. The first thing you guys want to look out for is they can be a little pricey if you guys want to get deep into like the French Bulldog breed because they do come in a variety of colors. The blue, the peach, the merle, those kinds of colors can be really expensive and then if they're coming from a, like a reputable breeder, they can reach up to like 10k, like $10,000 per um, French Bulldog per pup. Some come with papers but aren't that expensive, like they're a normal price I guess, like around $1,500 to $2,000. But if you don't get them with papers, they can be as low as like, I don't know, like Rocket we got it for $500, so I mean, that's as low as you can get them I guess, but that's not common, don't get that mixed up. You have to be real lucky. Yeah, you have to be super lucky or I mean, maybe you'll get a hand-me-down and have some one of your family members have a pup and give you it or something. That is true too. So the second thing you should look out for before owning one of these is that they're not a dog that will be running around for hours. Like Rocket, he enjoys going to the park once in a while. But for the most part, he sits down, lays down around the house, doesn't really do much. Since he's a puppy, he has a little bit more energy, so he'll come when he's called and stuff. But once they get older, they also tend to get a little bit more heavy and more lazy. They are a non-sporting breed, so that means that they are a bit lazier than the rest of the dogs. Yeah. That also could be because of their short snouts. They have trouble breathing. They can't run as much because they have they can't breathe as much. That also has to do with their laziness once they get older. They're gonna be like, I can't breathe anymore, and they don't wanna do anything. With number three, it's basically just knowing that they they're a gassy breed and they're, they snore a lot and they make like awkward noises, I guess. But the big thing is like the farting and stuff. Like that can get out of hand real fast. Like Rocket, <laughs> yesterday we took him to the office and I don't know why, but he was so gassy and the office is small. He was stinking that up real quick. Like, and you would hear it too. Like you'd hear him fart, but some of them are silent, but they're real bad. That comes with like most French Bulldogs. Her her brother actually has um, a French Bulldog. You guys have met her maybe, Nala. She's been in some of our videos, but um, she farts as well. I think it's mainly because of the diet. But even with um, this diet, I think like today he hasn't farted or at least around us. So for number four, it also goes into why they would fart so much, I guess. French Bulldogs tend to have very sensitive stomachs. You have to be real careful what you give them to eat. They usually make foods that are for specifically made for dogs that have these sensitive stomachs. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful what you do feed them because they do tend to get very overweight. That's also an issue because once they get overweight, I mean you could bring them back to be like a normal weight but it's really hard to. For number five, we're gonna be talking about Rocket or French Bulldog's wrinkly faces. You guys gotta make sure that if you do happen to get one, that you constantly clean their like their tears and their eyes and their just like their wrinkles basically. It can get infected and it can get like swollen and stuff if you guys don't keep an eye on it. Rocket, Rocket's an indoor dog, he doesn't he doesn't cry that much, but like, as soon as I see tears coming from him, like, I always wipe them and like, I always clean his face. And Stella too, like, if you guys don't like doing that kind of um, thing, I mean, you guys can always get like baby wipes and just wipe their eye real quick. But we bought baby wipes just in case, but like, I guess now I'm comfortable with just wiping his eyes with my hand. Yeah, so it doesn't get infected. Rocket's never gotten infected on his eyes or anything, but... He's usually very clean, because we keep him clean. Yeah. And if you want to tell him real quick about the shedding... I also want to mention that these dogs do shed. They just don't shed as bad as like a long-haired dog. Like as far as like taking them a bath and stuff, their hair will go right down the drain. But like when we shower Stella, her hair gets like clogged in the drain and stuff and it gets really bad. I mean you can just give them a quick brush, they don't need like that much maintenance. They just really just need to get brushed down and that's it. Other than that, they're really easy dogs to have, easy maintenance. A really laid back dog that will be laying on your lap most of the time. Like we literally just laid him here and he fell, and then he just fell asleep. Yeah, it's could be. They don't bark as much or anything. He only bark. he wouldn't bark if he was an only dog, but he barks because of Stella. 
But if you're looking for a dog that will run, play fetch, and all that stuff, I don't think this would be the good dog for you. He doesn't have that drive, I guess, like Stella. He doesn't even like toys. He's yeah. weird. <laughs> he, he'll play tug of war with Stella just because he doesn't like that Stella has a toy, I guess. But yeah, but like when I try to play with him, he like it. He does. Yeah, he doesn't care. Other than that, let us know if you guys if we missed anything down in the comments, and we'll go over it again maybe in another video. I hope this helped a lot, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I believe we covered everything. See you guys later.